let's talk about the Dodger situation. Otani has been cleared. Federal investigators give him his reputation back. He was a victim of the unbelievable bank fraud. Ipe Muzahara pleads guilty to theft of $16 million of funds from various Otani bank accounts because of his gambling addiction. Muzahara is facing 30 years in prison and a $1 million fine. He's posted $25,000 bond, has turned in his passports. He's been ordered to enter a clinic for gambling addiction. The investigation that lasted about three and a half weeks, staggering statistics, that, that he was involved making 19,000 bets in a three-year span. He was making on the average of 25 bets per day. He won $142 million in bets. He lost $183 million in three years. He changed the coding on Otani's bank accounts so no one knew about the large withdrawals, and he set up separate bank accounts using Otani's name so that when they won money, that money went to Muzahara's bank account, not back into the Otani bank account. He blocked the alerts on the accounts so that Otani's agent, Otani's accountant, Otani's personal lawyer never got notifications when large amounts of money were transferred. He stole Otani's identity, background, personal information. He talked to the bank as if he were Otani. The weird thing, he spoke English to the bank officials in Southern California. Otani does not speak English. Nobody came aware of that. And then, of course, he had the personal bank accounts in which he picked up all the money. 37-page federal indictment gambled from 2021 to 2024. The investigators found thousands of text messages and emails between Muzahara and Otani. Not once in, in I was told it was like 13,000 transactions, mm -hmm. communications. Not once was there ever mention of gambling on sports, either Muzahara to Otani, Otani to Muzahara. Not once up until the bitter end was there any mention about gambling addiction or massive financial losses. Wow. There was mention about, quote, business investments. So what they've dug up in a three-week window since the story exploded in Seoul, South Korea, is absolutely amazing. And now I guess we can also get the understanding and answer to the question. Otani never gave him the codes, never gave him the data. This guy figured out and stole the access to it. Otani and his people had no idea. $500,000 withdrawals nine different times because they were not getting the bank alerts. All the bank alerts had been redirect redirected towards Muzahara. Absolutely amazing story. But think about that. 30 years in prison, $1 million fine, likely. Yeah, likely. So we're going to see how this breaks. But the fans, a lot of fans, are convinced that Otani is in on this, that that Mizahara and Otani, they hang out in their hotel room and they make bets when they're on the road. And there's even been some people on social media that said that um, Mizahara and Otani were hanging out and laughing after the news broke. So apparently their friendship isn't disrupted by all of this theft. I mean, it seems like there's so much more going on here, Lee. I don't know. I mean, the FBI and the IRS who conducted this investigation said victim, cleared his name. And Otani has met with every one of the facets conducting an investigation and answered all the questions. They have a Japanese interpreter for MLB who then communicates to the mm -hmm. Japanese interpreter for the Dodgers who has now been assigned to work with Otani. I... I use the words rush to judgment. The whole bloody world dove in on the story three weeks ago. Yeah, they did. Everybody, you didn't rush to judgment, <laughs> did you? Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah. Hey, the FBI has cleared him. MLB is continuing its investigation. It doesn't seem to bother Otani. He's just hitting the crap out of the balls, having an unbelievable yeah, superstar start to the season. I want to just one quick note, though. Otani does speak English. We saw him speak English last night talking about his cleats. Did you see that? No. You know, and granted, it, he's not perfectly fluent. He wouldn't be doing this podcast. Well, no, he wouldn't, but he could still speak some English. Mm -hmm. It's not like, you know, he's uh, 
uh, you know, the Tommy Pinball Wizard guy. <laughs> okay, so if you have an opinion on the Sotani situation, what the FBI and the prosecutors have uncovered, jump on board, fans form, get in line early and join us. That's one piece of the controversial equation with Dodger baseball. The other one involves their former pitching ace, Julio Urias. He has now been hit in the L.A. Police Department, five misdemeanor charges, domestic abuse and assault. This is the aftermath of an incident that happened in the middle of last season when he was removed from the roster, shoving of his wife against a fence, pulling her hair in an argument. It was all videotaped by a passerby who realized this is the Dodger pitcher that's involved in this incident. He's facing six months to one year in prison if he's convicted of any of these misdemeanors. Baseball is going to hand him a second suspension. He'll be the first MLB player since they invoked the new domestic abuse policy to be penalized twice. So the fact that she was not hurt, but she was roughed up, does not look good for him. Urias could probably get a 40-game suspension because the rule book is if you violate something, the second time it's doubled, the third time it's tripled. He's already served a 20-game suspension. He could probably get a 40-game suspension, which probably would wipe him out till the All-Star break. He is a free agent. He did all this right before he became a free agent, so he has painted himself into a really bad corner. Anybody going to touch this guy, John? Uh, someone will eventually. I mean, I'm surprised Trevor Bauer hasn't signed yet either. Um, but yeah, it's idiotic for him to do this right before he went to free agency. But isn't it amazing how when we do Hacksaw's headlines, how many stories are outside the lines, yeah. you know, off the field? And here we go, kicking it off with with uh, Misohara and now with, uh, with Julio Urias. So if you're a Dodger fan, you're a baseball fan, jump on board, fans form. Just give us a response, what you think about Otani, what you think about Urias. Let's go from there.